the prophet has money angels around him because these angels are responsible for bringing you as a child of God into the financial plan of God, into the progress of what your life is supposed to look like from heaven's point of view. You could be overshadowed by the things that go on in this life and the trouble that you experience, that it could create a narrative and it could create a visual that is in struggle and in poverty and in budgets, shortage, not enough, difficult times, deficits, debts. And see, that type of lifestyle is what Satan uses to suffocate your faith, destroy your faith. Now your faith not operating because your faith is stuck in what has been happening to you. I want to read off a financial miracle that just hit. I was just talking to you about miracles, right? I said instant money miracles. Well, my daughter Colette got an instant money miracle and this was her testimony to me. This was her testimony to me. I want you to really catch this because this is not a joke. Lesto rande beso raza randes. Restidiso. Um, she told me I have a praise report. I was looking for something to hit my bank account. And when you spoke and said new money is coming, a supernatural money came, new dollar bills, and she sold a thousand dollars from it and a uh, hundred plus dollars from it. And she's sewing from it. But it's, it's just a miracle testimony of what's happening. And, and my daughter, Colette, on the line. And so it's happening. Remember, I spoke that over you last night. Those of you all on here, I want to speak that over you all, my partners, all of you all that's in my ministry. I want to speak instant money over your life in the name of Jesus. Razo rende kisto raza randa. Rozo rende kista razo rende. Razo rigidi soranda vaza. Rosto risti la sorre veki parava. Praying in tongues allows the Holy Spirit to lead you, lead you to where you're supposed to be. When you're praying in tongues, it helps you discover things that you have lost, even finances, keys personal items, wallets. It lets you discover what you have forgotten. If you remember in the Gospels, Jesus talked about the Holy Spirit, the Comforter shall bring to your remembrance all things that I've spoken to you. The Holy Ghost will magnify what you forget that you need to remember. Not too long ago, I was a uh, I was praying in the spirit and then I was looking for something. I looked in one of my vehicles. Then the spirit of the Lord showed me where it was while I was praying in the spirit. What's so powerful is if I'm not praying in tongues, I will never locate it. Proverbs 2, 7 said that he stored up sound wisdom for the righteous. God stores up things that you're supposed to know and see if you're going, you're going to reach for it. I want you to think about God in some aspects as this. Remember when uh, you're playing with a dog or you're playing with a child and you may pitch something up over their head and say, I bet you can't get this. Look, look, look. And they could see it. They could actually have it, but they'll have to reach for it. And say, this is how God does a lot with wisdom and understanding. There are things that you're supposed to know, you're supposed to have inside of your soul operating, working out of you. But guess what happens? The Lord on purpose will dangle it. Say, do you want it? And do you know what's the crazy thing? A lot of people live their whole life and say, I don't want it. They go through suffering, deception, gates of hell, sickness, curses. And God is dangling that thing and you have to go after it. Oh, praying in tongues is a major part of you not missing God and being deceived. 
there are a lot of decisions that you will have to make in the future that if you don't pray in tongues, Satan will trick you. I mean, like, I, it's, it's funny to me, like, over the course of my life, I've heard so many people talk about how the devil was a liar, how the devil is defeated, all that stuff, and then the devil defeats them. Because the truth of the matter is, Satan knows if you're not using your weapons. Satan knows. The Bible says, don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. So remember a device today, we have technology. A device that Satan uses technology. There is a satanic technology going on for the brain, for the emotions, for the decision making. So if you don't know how to use your devices in the spirit of God, the devices of Satan will succeed. There's a portal for everything that you're supposed to do in a day. If you got a child in your presence, there's a portal for you to teach them the gospel. Everything that's in your presence, there's a portal for it. If you have a husband, there's a portal for him. If you have a wife, there's a portal for her. If you have a daughter, there's a portal for her. If you have a son, there's a portal for him. Everything that's in your presence, the Holy Spirit has a wisdom for it. The Holy Spirit has a wisdom for your ceiling fan. The Holy Spirit has a wisdom for your bathroom. You're not hearing me. The Holy Spirit has a wisdom for your car seat, for your car cup holder. The Holy Spirit has a wisdom for what enters your body, what exits your body, what enters your mind, what exits your mind. Do you know that your mind has a trash can? People that are depressed don't take out their mental trash. There's somebody on here, you've been having this heartburn that is being healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's uh, two people on here, you've been suffering with these sinus headaches. Sinus headaches? Like sinus headaches? The power of God is touching you right now. I also want to declare this over you. There's miracle money going to be showing up to you all as you're watching me. We in this dispensation, I declared it. As you can see, Colette experienced a miracle. Um, Shamara Smith experienced a miracle. And the miracles are happening and will keep on happening. And I'm dealing with financial miracles. Las torrandas de roste besorra basi dio, rande stira la maya. And saints, well, I want you to catch is this. If you don't pray in tongues, there's so many things going past you. Financial strategies. There's so many things going past you. Provisional wisdom. There's so many things going past you. That is for your own benefit. There's so many things that God is always circulating in your direction and you may not be in position to receive it. Pow, pow, pow. You see them gunshots, right? Bullets come out. If I don't know how to aim, guess what happens? The bullets miss its aim. I want you to catch this. Every single day, God is shooting out wisdom. It's coming out of his heart. There's wisdom for wealth, wisdom for riches, wisdom for prosperity, wisdom for your bodily health, wisdom for your relationships, wisdom for your time, wisdom for your moments, wisdom for your reactions, wisdom for your conduct. Saints, one time I remember I was inside the store and I had just finished praying in the spirit. Some time ago, a while ago, Lesto Randa Stito Rasta. And I was inside a line and um, I was about to go in a line and a white older gentleman skipped me and he knew what he was doing. He skipped me on purpose. <laughs> but I had just prayed in the spirit and I, I, I prayed in the spirit the whole time. 
and I was like 30 minutes in, you know, I was like 30 minutes in. And so when I hopped out, like, you know, you cease for a minute. But when he cut me off, I understood that it was a spiritual thing because I sensed the demons that he was carrying and I knew what he was trying. I knew that he was just being used by the enemy to aggravate me, you know? So I just shifted my focus. As I stand before God, I was inside a line. I went to another cash register. The cash register that he was at jammed. The system stopped. The man was stuck in line and I walked out and I looked at him. I didn't throw him the finger. I didn't cuss him out. I didn't say nothing to him. They called workers to go work on the cash register and the, the lady was saying, we don't know what was happening. It was just working. The whole system shut down. Spiritual power governs everything. Spiritual power governs everything. And we live in an invisible world. I could see my angels moving through that uh, computer and dealing with that computer to shut it down because that's justice ASAP. The spiritual power of God is with the prophet of God. That's why God connects you because you're not supposed to be a slave to the devil no more. You're not supposed to be defeated in spiritual combats. You're not supposed to lose in spiritual warfare. Your mind not supposed to be defeated anymore. Your emotions not supposed to be deceived anymore. Your finances not supposed to be in deficits anymore. That's why God brings a prophet of God into your life. The whole theme of the prophet is good success. The whole theme of the prophet, you know, this Joshua 1, 8, but what was Joshua? A prophet. Who was Joshua's prophet? Moses. Who laid hands on him? Moses. And Moses, that mighty prophet, released the spirit of wisdom. And Joshua was able to walk in all kingdom access because of wisdom. Shows you the power of the prophet of God brought the whole children of Israel into their promised land, Joshua. The walls of Jericho fell down. You know why? Spiritual power. Lestorandas, Rejediso, Razava. Why did the people around Joshua enter into their richest place financially? Because Joshua the prophet had money angels around him. The word of God said, if you believe the prophet, so shall you prosper. Prosperity. What's going on here? When you believe the prophet, there's an angel of prosperity, an angel of money that is assigned to your life. See, collect, believe what I said. And see, there was an angel of money that came with her today. Less than 24 hour miracle. Less than 24 hour financial miracle. You see what I'm saying? Le Corsaya. Residiso. When she believed in her heart, when she listened, then the angel of money stands beside her. Some of you are listening to me. You, you're like, well, prophet, well, I believe you. Let me tell you something. The angel of money has a success rate of over 100%. He never loses. There's more than one. The minister of finances, the money angels, they surround the prophet of God that whosoever will believe him, they'll come into the zone of provisional wealth, provisional abundance. Many people don't understand why would a prophet teach about the gospel of divine money, the gospel of of wealth of God, the gospel of the riches of the Lord. They're like, ah, uh, why, why is this person talking about money all the time? That's what surround them, money angels. If the prophet doesn't give a word about money, the prophet has to betray not only the presence of God, but the presence of angels that have been sent forth for the people of God. 
These money angels not for us alone. These money angels are for you. How do we get these money angels in operation through our teachings? The prophet give teachings because in those revelations, in those words, they're carrying information for this divine banking system. There are certain things that you need to know to qualify. Have you ever applied for a credit card or applied for a visa or applied for a loan or anything. You notice what they do. They examine you to see if you're qualified. Well, in Psalm chapter seven, it says that God tests the hearts 